Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Chris Bergeron. Welcome to Assumption Parish, a member of the Windsor Heritage Catholic Family of Parishes. Today is the Solemnity of Christ the King. Father Leo Walsh will, will preside at this morning's liturgy. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we have Eva making our first communion. So let's welcome Eva among us. And so we begin by asking our God to cleanse our minds and hearts that we may give glory to Christ our King. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, <clears throat> I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when he is among his scattered sheep, <clears throat> so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. 
I will seek the lost. And I will bring back the strayed. And I will bind up the injured. And I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed my sheep with justice. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, I shall judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord, Lord is my, is my shepherd, shepherd. <clears throat> I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is Lord my is shepherd, my shepherd. <clears throat> I shall I not want. want. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord, the Lord is my, is my shepherd. shepherd, I shall not want. <clears throat> you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord the is, Lord my, is shepherd. my shepherd, I shall, I not, shall want. not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A reading from the le first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since, for since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a man. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ, but each in his own order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every, every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all of his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subject, subjected to the one who put all things in subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his holy gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of, of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people from one another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at, his, at the left. Then the king will say to those at the right hand, come you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger 
and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you as stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that, you saw, that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. Then he will say to those on his left hand, you that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devils and angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food and I was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not welcome me, naked and you did not give me clothing, sick and in prison and you did not visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not care for you? Then he will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A couple of years ago, so anti-COVID, I was finishing my class with some grade 12 students, and we discussed an article in that week's Catholic Register by Bishop Barron based on a recent book on modern youth. The bishop spoke specifically about the chapter on religious practice of youth. And he said it made very depressing reading. Our class then discussed our local Catholic youth and the numbers practicing their faith were far lower than those making the bishop sad in the States. And we discussed how this trend might be stopped, even reversed. One, should, one student said, perhaps we've already met the tipping point so that there was nothing we could do. I reminded him about the eventual glory of Christ, the King of the universe. I conceded, though, that we could be in a decline for years ahead if we cannot find remedies. And all this before the pandemic, which won't help matters at all. The 2018 Synod on Youth didn't seem to provide any practical answers so that our youth may return to the way of Christ the King. Christ our King. The wise men followed the star to find the newborn king, a king born in a stable. What faith they had to adore him in that humble condition. Our faith calls us too to adore the child in the crib, surrounded as we are by overwhelming secularization. You are a king then, Pilate asked him. Here the king is falsely accused by his own people 
before a Gentile ruler. Many people adore the king that they do not know by following their conscience for the good. We, though, who bear the name, his name, in a special way, are his own people. Do we accuse him falsely through action or silence? Remember me when you come into your kingdom. The thief pleaded next to him on Calvary. And so our king ministers on the cross, promising the thief eternal life. Do we recognize the king himself in the poorest of our neighbors? And then the last judgment described in today's gospel and depicted by Michelangelo in the roof of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. Depart from me, you accursed. And so the wicked get their comeuppance. Jesus gets his own backed with interest. Not at all. The king portrayed throughout the Gospels is not one who seeks vengeance. The king who sees us depart is in fact broken hearted. He weeps for the sinner as he wept over his beloved city, Jerusalem. He is still the shepherd who seeks out the lost sheep. Those who leave do so by choice, freely and deliberately, fixed in hatred of goodness, their king. Our church knows that departing from the king is a possibility. The church, though, has never proclaimed anyone being in hell. Mortal sin, however, is both possibility and actuality. The world may have lost its sense of sin, as all the popes since Pius XII have been telling us, but have not lost our sense of evil, except for some sociopaths and terrorists. You get atrocities reported daily in the media, ranging from whole-scale war on racial and religious minorities to the starvation of millions from widespread corruption to slavery and sexual exploitation, to the killing of our unborn and the sick and elderly among us, our world can and does embrace evil and sin. Thy kingdom come, we pray often, But we may kind of gloss over the meaning here, but we have to take it very seriously. If we're going to work for the kingdom, we have to be ready to do so, clothed, first of all, by the armor of virtue and all those virtues mentioned in the gospel and in St. Paul, above all in love, love of God and love of every neighbor. And then we have to be prepared to spread the gospel by example, first of all, but also by word. We have to be educated in the ways of the kingdom. Remember the prophet Isaiah shouting out in answer to God, Here I am. Send me. And we say the same. I'm your man, Jesus. I'm your woman, Lord. 
All glory be to Jesus Christ, our King. Would you stand and we'll say our prayer together? I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. And on the third day, day he, rose he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Father Almighty. From, from there he will come to judge, to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now bring our petitions before our gracious God. For the Church to serve Christ our King by glorifying His name, delivering His word, and serving all in their various needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders to imitate the kingship of Jesus in their call for peace and love for justice, and in compassionate care for their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Owen Mayu, Ava Gwilt, Adrian Skyers, and Carmen Deckert, to experience the love, protection, and power of Christ the King as they receive him in the Eucharist for the first time today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ella Warren and Jace Badur, who join the church today through all the sacraments of initiation. And for Cohen Badur and Nicholas Deckard, who will be confirmed and receive Eucharist for the first time today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the hungry and thirsty, the estranged and the naked, the sick and the imprisoned, to know the healing mercy of God as it is offered to them through the discipleship of the faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed to be included among the sheep who inherit the kingdom prepared for them, especially Elvira Fisco, Carlo Ravatin, Isabella Braccio, and Francesca Tacconi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of the intentions we hold in our hearts today, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, as ever, we make our prayers to you in hope and in confidence, since we make them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our brother. Amen.
Let's see the love of the whole place and push you again in the spirit. It's wine filled and the fruit of the vine and wash your human hands. It will become for us the spirit children. I want to spread it in contact with you. I'm sure you are in Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless victim to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty, an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love together with Francis our Pope, Ronald our Bishop, Joseph his helper, Eva and her family, all the people in our church today and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray to our Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, Thy will, will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only Lord. say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
For First Communion, we'd ask the family of Ava to come forward first and everyone else to remain seated. And once Ava and her family have received, then the rest of the congregation will proceed in the normal manner. Body of Christ, Body of Christ, the Body of Christ, no, but.
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will not be selling missiles or the Advent books this year <clears throat> due to the Diocese, Diocese of London COVID-19 restriction guidelines. If you would like one, you can get them at Brisebois on Central Avenue. Offertory envelopes are available for pickup after each Mass beginning next weekend. When you register for Mass, we will have the list of those who are registered. These can be picked up at the Rectory Office off Huron Church through our drive through convenience. When you come, please tell us your envelope number. Would you like to increase your understanding and deepen your encounter with Jesus in the Mass? If you would like to meet with some other people with a similar interest, please see the parish website to learn about and register for a five-week virtual study led by young adult parishioners called A Biblical Walk Through the Mass. Register now for this Advent Biblical Study. Confirmation registration is now open till November 30th. If you are interested, please go online to fill out the registration form. You can also contact Jessica at the office or email her at jjjarvis at dol.ca. Just a reminder, we will be collecting money for our treeless giving tree. You can put your donation in the basket provided on your way out. And lastly, if you are willing to help with screening, ushering, or sanitizing the church, we would appreciate your help, especially during the Christmas Masses. Please contact Jean Beneteau for more detailed information. I've been asked to remind you that, uh, about the procedures that we utilize uh, during the pandemic. The first one is social distancing. Uh, when you're coming into the church, please sit where you're being shown by the ushers. If, if the seat's not good for you, tell them right there, but please don't change seats after you've been seated. Uh, as well, we need to keep distance when we're exiting. And the way we do that is the ushers will release you when it's time to exit the church. They start doing that from the back of the church and come to the forward. So if you're sitting near the front, the idea is to wait until the ushers come, uh, come forward. Uh, everyone needs to wear their masks during the mass. And of course, there's no singing uh, during the, uh, during the uh, celebration. Uh, I think that's going to become more difficult as we get closer to Christmas and we get some familiar songs, but unfortunately that's what we have to maintain. The whole idea is that we want to continue offering Mass here at Assumption. You might know that they're starting to spot check, they're sending out uh, inspectors. So we want to make sure that we've got everything in line when that time comes. So please follow the instructions of the ushers, particularly when you're exiting today. Stay seated until they release you. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.